Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will learn about receptor mediated endocytosis with an example the uptake of LDL from blood. So LDL is a particle which carries cholesterol in the blood and transports it to the cell. So first let's see what receptor mediated endocytosis is. So as the name suggests the endocytosis which is mediated by a specific receptor. So as we know that endocytosis is a process in which a cell takes up materials from its surrounding from its outside environment and transfers it, uh, transfers it into the cell. So here a specific receptor on the cell surface which is present on the cell surface binds to an extracellular ligand which is here the LDL particle. Then the plasma membrane region containing the receptor ligand complex will bud inward. The membrane invaginates to form a pit and then pinches off becoming a transport vesicle. So coming to LDL, LDL the full form is low density lipoprotein. So this is a lipoprotein particle, the protein which carries or transfers lipids and has a shell composed of proteins. These proteins specifically are called apolipoproteins overlying a cholesterol containing phospholipid monolayer. So this is a model of a LDL particle. Here we can see that this single band is the protein component which is called apolipoprotein B and a monolayer of phospholipids these gray color uh, these gray color portions these are the phospholipids and they form a monolayer unlike typical plasma membrane where the phospholipids form a bilayer so here this monolayer of phospholipid also contain cholesterol and these cholesterols are unesterified cholesterol which is typically found in the plasma membrane and this portion is polar surface and inside the core this is a apolar core because it contains the lipids the cholesterols the cholesterol esters and also the triglycerides so thus the shell is antipathic so it's the outside is polar and the inside is apolar. Next coming to the endocytic pathway for internalizing LDL particles. So there are a few steps I'm going to describe each step one by one. So first in the first step the LDL particle is obtained by the receptor. On the cell surface. So here we can see that this green colored receptor this is a LDL receptor and it has a transmembrane domain, a cytosolic domain and an extracellular dom domain and this this pink colored arm is called the ligand binding arm which will bind to the LDL particle and specifically the ApoV protein. So here this receptor binds to the LDL particle and after binding this uh, this protein which are called Clathrin and EP2 proteins these are the coat proteins. These coat proteins will form a vesicle that a vesicle that will ultimately transport the LDL particle. So here after binding the receptor interact with the AP2 coat protein and after that the you know specific process a transport cell the portion of the plasma membrane invaginates and generally and gradually a coated vesicle forms taking the receptor, the LDL receptor and LDL particle inside the coated vesicle. This is step 2. Then after that, the coated, the coat protein
proteins are generally shed off forming an uncoated vesicle which is called early endosome and this early endosome will eventually fuse with the late endosome and here as the pH of late endosome is acidic is low which is we can see 5.0 here this in this acidic medium the LDL receptor undergoes a conformational change it creates specific conformational change and the receptor and ligand dissociate and the LDL eventually released in the late endosome and this LDL particle this late endosome will fuse with lysosome and here the enzymes in the lysosome will degrade the LDL particle into its corresponding components like uh, amino acids, cholesterol and fatty acids which will be used in the cell and this uh, receptor will be recycled back to the cell surface where uh, at cell surface at neutral pH the lichen binding R undergoes another conformational change and is now free to accept another LDL particle. So next we will see how pH affects the binding and the dissociation of LDL receptor to LDL particle. So at cell surface the pH is neutral that is 7.0. At this pH the so first we have to see the various domains of the LDL receptor. So there is this beta propyl domain, then the cytosolic domain which has the MPXY sorting signal, and the ligand binding arm, this pink colored region which contains cysteine residues, cysteine rich repeats, this portion binds to the LDL particle. So at so when this LDL receptor and LDL particle enters the endosome which has acidic pH that is pH 5 so at this pH the beta propyl domain which contains histidine residues they get protonated and becomes positively charged and this Lichen binding arm, it has some negatively charged residues. So they tightly bind to each other as they are oppositely charged, and due to this, now this LDL particle is released. While after the LDL receptor again goes to the cell surface, as we have seen here, this is at neutral pH now. So uh, the the LDL receptor again becomes deprotonated and this lichen binding arm is now free to attach another LDL particle. Then this is a very important disease that is called familial hypercholesterolemia. It is a hereditary disease and this is marked by elevated uh, plasma LDL label because there is some mutation in the LDL receptor that is why the LDL, uh, the LDL molecules or the cholesterol is not taken up in the cell and the plasma level is increased so this is it uh, about the receptor mediated endocytosis and how cholesterol is taken up in taken up to a cell and I have taken it from Molecular Cell Biology by Lodis, 8th edition and you can find it in chapter 14. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any queries, please comment in the comment section below and if you liked it, give it a like and thank you so much for watching.